The bowling action is a sum of all parts, beginning with a balanced run-up that takes the body towards the target. Next comes the jump and gather. This continues the momentum towards the target and allows the body to find an inline hip and shoulder position to suit the individual. The arm should rotate relatively close to the body, moving in a continual motion following an opening and closing pattern. At release, the body should be fairly upright with the fingers behind the ball supporting a grip that can produce the type of delivery the bowler wants. What we'll do to bowl the in-swinger is turn the ball over. So once again, the shiny side being the red side, right-handed batsman, slight angle of the seam this time towards fine leg, fingers down the seam, once again, pretty much the same as what you bowl for the outswinger. Some, of course, down the back. And you want to pull down as hard as you can, making the scene this time go towards fine leg. And hopefully, the ball should swing in towards a right-handed batsman. Let's have a look. Now, to bowl an outswinger, if we imagine that the red side of the ball is the shiny side, I like to place my two fingers about that far apart from the seam, thumb going down the back of the seam, straight down, maybe a slight little angle towards first slip if there's a right-handed batsman, and you want to come straight down behind the seam, pull down behind the ball, which will then give the ball the position, hopefully with a straight seam, to give every opportunity to swing, to go down the pitch and slightly go away from the right-hand batsman. Let's have a look. The leg cutter moves off the seam from leg to off stump. The fingers are placed down the seam with the middle finger on top or close to the top of the seam with the first finger just off the seam. At release, the wrist and fingers are pulled down toward the off side, producing a delivery that leaves the pitch in the direction of the slips. The off cutter moves off the seam from the off stump to the leg stump. The fingers are placed down the seam with the first finger either on top of the seam or close to the top of the seam, with the middle finger just off the seam. At release, the wrists and fingers are pulled down toward the on side to produce a delivery that moves back into the batsman. Now as any fast bowler, it's great to have a bit of variation, and I find sometimes being a fast bowler, that you need to have a change up in pace. Now to bowl what we call a slower ball or a change of pace, I like to hold the ball pretty much the same as what I held the ball for an outswinger. As I'm just about to come over with my action, slide one finger down and you want to bowl like a big off cutting action. So then the seam turns and the ball should come out between 10, 15, 20 k's a bit slower. That's one version. Other version is obviously you take the fingers over the other side and bowl down like a leg cutter. So then the seam goes that way. These are two versions that I use, and if you can get them through practice and a lot of hard training, they can be very, very effective. The bouncer is an effort ball that is used to force the batsman onto the back foot. The grip can be fingers down or across the seam. The effort needs to be focused just before release, driving the ball into the pitch hard and short enough to pass the batsman at throat height. The Yorker is designed to surprise the batsman by pitching at their feet in line with the stumps. The focus for the bowler is on the spot where you want to pitch it, and then, depending on the variation you choose, the seam can be held to swing the ball or go straight to the stumps. The leg spinner is the core delivery of the leg spin bowler. It turns from leg to off for the right hand batsman. We grip the ball firmly with our middle three fingers with soft support from the thumb and impart maximum spin with the third or ring finger. We aim to be moving towards the target with our body and spin up and over the top of the ball for maximum impact. The leg spinner relies heavily on his stock ball, the leg break. However, Variation adds to the impact of the leg spin bowler and the top spinner, rongan, flipper and back spinner or zutta are examples they can use. The rongan is a variation for the leg spinner, spinning in the opposite direction. The grip is the same, 
in the first, second and third fingers with light support from the thumb. The spin is achieved by releasing the ball with the back of the hand facing towards the batsman and spinning off the third or ring finger. The top spinner is another variation for the leg spin bowler. The grip is the same and we are aiming to bowl with the back of the hand facing towards the bowler. We hope the ball to carry on straight and encourage greater bounce. The flipper is another variation and most difficult to master. The grip is similar to the leg spinner with the ball being squeezed out between the thumb and forefinger. This results in backspin being imparted on the ball, skidding through quickly and deceiving the batsman. The biggest part about spin bowling is grip it and rip it. You must spin the ball to be an effective bowler. The grip I use to spin the ball is like so. Hold the ball in your fingers, depending on how big your fingers and your hand are, till the ball is comfortable. For me it's about like that, like that, depending on how big your hand and fingers are. And I want the ball coming out off my index or pointer finger, the last point of contact, so the ball comes out like so. Okay. As Andrew has demonstrated, the off-break is the off-spinner's stock ball. However, variations add to the impact of the spinner, and the top spinner, Dusra, and arm ball are all examples of this.